What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has rolled out a brand new update for one of its powerful security features called Auto Blocker. To check this update, all you need to do is just go to the updates app section on your Galaxy store. As you can see, we have got voice recorder update. There is nothing much happening there. Let me just update this. Now, when it comes to Auto Blocker, this brings in a very important security feature may not be for the devices which are already running on One UI 7.0, but for those devices which have just received the One UI 7.0. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. As you can see under what's new section, it says from One UI 6.1.1, auto blocker provides extra strong protection through the maximum restrictions feature as an option for people who need more security. So this was already available. While enabling maximum restrictions, some of your device's feature may be uh, or will be restricted. Maximum restrictions turns on the app protection feature and prevents activation of device admin apps and work profiles. Maximum restrictions also block some features of Samsung Messages and Gallery. Now I'll come to that in a bit. Now these features were already there on One UI 6.1.1 and from One UI 7, maximum restrictions additionally blocks 2G networks and automatic reconnection to non-secure Wi-Fi networks. So this will be a brand new security feature on One UI 7. So if you have just upgraded your phone from One UI 6.1 or 6.1.1 to One UI 7, then this is a noteworthy feature you should take a look at. Now let me also show you the latest version here. It's 1.2.02.1 and the size is just about 6.64 MB. Update was received a week ago, but it just showed up yesterday evening on my my device. Now let me just go ahead and update this and let's go to the settings and check out this feature. Let's go to settings here. I'll tap on security and privacy and here you will see this toggle auto blocker. Now let me tap on this. Now here anybody can enable the auto blocker settings and when you enable it, it provides some basic security like blocks app from unauthorized sources, blocks commands by USB cable, blocks malware images in messaging applications which is very important for you guys. If somebody is spamming you with messages with malwares or viruses then this is going to block such malwares. When you receive a message with an image that's suspected of containing malware, the image will be blocked to keep you safe. Then it also blocks non-official software updates, prevents installing of system software that hasn't been certified by Samsung. This can stop malicious software from being installed on your phone. Now here a very critical security feature is blocking malware images in messaging applications. Sometimes we tend to get these malware images on the messages and we tend to click it without knowing what it is and there could be any virus or malware which will get uh, into our phone. So that has to be restricted and this auto blocker feature will restrict it. Now that is by default. Now let me enable this. Now you see at the bottom we have got maximum restrictions. I'll just tap on this. Now here we have got some additional restrictions and this is not for everyone. If you're a VIP or if you are someone who wants a maximum restriction on your phone, maximum protection as far as the security is concerned, then you can go ahead and turn on this feature. And on One UI 7, what Samsung has done is they have added this specific feature here, blocks 2G networks, prevents your phone from connecting to 2G networks. 2G networks are older and less secure than modern networks. Blocking them can prevent someone else from intercepting your network traffic and personal data. 2G networks are uncommon in most places, but may still be used in some parts of the world. If you're in an area where only 2G network are available, you won't be able to make or receive calls, send or receive texts, or use mobile data. Now, because 2G network is less secure nowadays, Samsung has given us this option to block 2G networks. Now you may be thinking that 2G networks are not at all available, but there will be some areas where automatically your 5G will switch to 2G where there is a very low network coverage. So that might happen in some places, in some part of the world. So if you're worried about the security there, then you can go ahead and enable maximum restrictions. But the drawback here is when we enable maximum restrictions, it also enables some other security features such as turns on app protection, blocks device admin applications, blocks auto reconnection to non-secure Wi-Fi networks, blocks auto downloading attachments, blocks hyperlinks and previews, removes location data when sharing pictures, blocks shared albums, that's not good, and then we have got removes location data when sharing pictures. Now some of them are very important, but a couple of them you may not want to enable. So I really wish Samsung gives us toggles here under uh, maximum restrictions to enable a specific security feature that we want. 
Enabling this will enable all the features. Now you may not want to block the shared albums. Uh, you may have uh, people within family who, uh, to whom you have shared the albums. And when you enable maximum restrictions, that feature will be disabled. So some of these features will get disabled, which you uh, really want. So that's a caveat here with this feature. So maybe in the future, Samsung can add toggles for each of these uh, features, security features, and here under auto blocker uh, main page as well. If they can give us options, like let's say I want to keep block apps from unauthorized sources, uh, you know, I, I do experiment some applications, I do download APKs on the phone, so I want to uh, open this specific restriction and keep the rest of the restrictions on, which I cannot do right now with this option. If you enable the toggle, all these will get blocked, and if you enable maximum restrictions, all these security features will get activated. So that's a concern that I'm facing. It may not be same for everybody out there, but yeah, with this all new update, if you have just moved from One UI 6.1 to One UI 7, you are getting the block 2G network feature as well. So a very important thing to note here. So go ahead, if you want to enable auto blocker, go ahead and enable it. And if you want maximum restrictions, you can go ahead and enable that as well. I generally don't turn on the maximum restrictions. Even turning this on is a problem for me because whenever I want to download an APK, I really have to come back here, disable auto blocker and install the APK and then uh, enable this feature again. So that is something which I do most of the time. So, uh, you know, uh, never mind keeping this turned on on my device. Anyway, so that is about the update. Let me know whether you have received the update or not. Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. And do not forget to download our wallpaper application, Volvers. I will be adding some more new wallpapers today. So go ahead and check it out. And do not forget to rate it on Play Store. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.